and Chief Meteorologist Chris Allred. WSAV News 3 on your side. She beat the incumbent congressman more than a year ago. Now Nancy Mace is getting ready to face a new challenger. The Democratic candidate made her announcement today. News 3's Andrew Davis is in the Low Country newsroom with why she says now is the time to run. A political newcomer, Dr. Annie Andrews, says she felt like she had to step into this race because of what she was seeing, not just in Washington, but inside her own Low Country hospital. When I take care of children who have been shot, it really takes it out of a political framework and puts it into a public health framework. And if more people could see the issue from that standpoint, I think we could really get some action there. The stories of children who have suffered from gunshot wounds, children who don't have enough food to eat, children who lack access to the internet in their homes, and all these problems that children in our district are facing that we need to give a voice to so we can find solutions for. Solutions that Andrews believes are not being looked at by current Congresswoman Nancy Mace. In her recent campaign ad, Andrews says she believes Mace is more interested in publicizing herself than making a change in the 1st District. We have over 700 structurally deficient bridges in our state, and I was deeply disappointed that my Congresswoman voted against this bipartisan infrastructure bill because we need to bring that money down here. We had roads underwater just this weekend. As an outsider to the political world, I've been so frustrated to watch this dysfunction in Washington and see things get stalled and see people go to their partisan corners and bickering rather than delivering for the American people. So I'm not really coming at it from a red versus blue. I feel there's an urgent need for child health advocates to serve in Washington. I think there's an urgent need for people who aren't career politicians to get involved, to work to solve problems, to help real people. And I think there's an urgent need for scientists to be at the table. Now, Andrews is the first announced Democratic challenger for the 2022 congressional race. Nancy Mace currently has three challengers for the Republican nomination, though, in the first district. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Now, WSA.